Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo, and welcome to the card for Monday Night Claw. Well, we are coming off of an action-packed week last week, but here's the start of a new one. The final run-up to our next pay-per-view, Hell in a Cell, in just two weeks. We've got two claws left, and we're starting this one off with two-thirds of the crew, that CR, capital E-W-E, against <laughs> Dressed for Business. The crew, they've had a rough go in these trios matches, maybe trying to plant their flag in the tag division, and we'll see Artemis Black and W.R. Spenny against and Fox and the always verbose lemon is good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it'll be interesting, won't it? Um, oh, dear. Oh, 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 well, look what we've got here. Rick Reckless, Demon Prince, Rick Reckless, punching way out of his weight class, or maybe not from the look of, of him, uh, <laughs> against Extra Arms Bot. Extra Arms Bot has been... Uh, has he ever, you know, he's always had Bezel by his side, but he's coming out here tonight one-on-one -on -one against Rick. Maybe he didn't like the way Rick was kind of eyeing his uh, his maker last week on Claw. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, this is this looks like one-sided if Rick was a man, but he's not. He's a demon prince, so anything could be happening to anybody in this match. Absolutely. And <laughs> here we go. It seems like the last man standing in the former Team Fantastic, the enforcer of the JFW and uh, the owner, Mr. Jim McMahon, Flapfart, will actually have the big boss in his corner tonight as he takes on Frostlord with the always incredible Tony Plays Poorly out and in his corner. Uh, this is truly just a battle of the top, top, top guys and the boss. What the heck is brewing here, Jim? Yeah, I don't know. I'm completely baffled, to be honest. But <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think I think Mr. Jim. Yeah, I think Mr. Jim McMahon might be trying to send a message. If Flapfart's going to get the job done for him with him in the corner, he doesn't mind getting himself on TV. Before he's been mostly pulling the strings behind behind closed doors, but now he's taking a much more hands-on approach. Cannot have liked what he saw in the after the main event on Friday night, stand firm with table leg wanger cashing in on the prodigal one himself, Mr. Jimmy Minmax Tastic. No word on his condition after that horrific assault. It was a disgrace that by the way. Hashtag wanger is nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great hashtag, Jim. Good job. And now we've got another four, fatal four-way extreme elimination match in the super heavyweight division. Last week, we saw Fault Force Big Ham himself come away with the win. Now we've got four more big guys. Crusher, Mighty Zug, Kiwi Nutsack Attack, and the always sexual Goliath. Four-way four extreme elimination. Last man standing here will be facing Fault Force next week, I'm being told. Four. And Can't wait to see that's that. Got, that's got to – this this run has got to have uh, Table Leg Wanger's name uh, in its headlights there. That didn't make any sense. But uh, the winner, though, coming out of all these extreme elimination matches has got to be considered the number one contender in my books, Jim. Yeah, that, that makes sense eventually. <laughs> and what the hell is this? Two guys – with maybe not the best uh, track records in the ring, but Calcium's been on a tear both backstage and after finally vanquishing his nemesis and former tag team partner, Space Cadet, is part of the Norse Canuts. Uh, <laughs> yes, very and, good. Uh, yeah, we got to be careful with them now. I wonder if we're going to have to see a name change out of that team. Anyway, Space Cadet looking to go solo uh, act on this one. Maybe maybe uh, made some bad decisions during a 24-hour drinking stream, but he wants to go one-on-one -on -one with Calcium in his own dojo. We'll see how this one goes, but yikes, Space Cadet. This is, uh, huh, this is asking for some trouble, I think. <laughs> maybe, indeed. And then our main event, Johnny Five, Satterfield, the Unnatural Snackers. They are the heart and soul of the JFW. Two on two extreme rules against Mighty AF. Clavius and Tony plays poorly. Two thirds of the uh, armed forces extraordinaires. 
Uh, the, we've seen these guys go head to head. They're one and one in three v three competition. We've never seen a tag two on two before. The Snackers right at the top of the tag team division, and Tony plays poorly. And Clavius both have uh, pretty uh, pretty extensive uh, solo resumes. But here they are, you know, best of friends going at it one more time. But extreme rules. I wonder who set that stipulation. This one could be uh, could be rough. It could be indeed, yeah. They've, they've beaten the crap out of each other, probably. Yeah, well, that is your main event for tonight's Monday Night Claw from Dallas, Texas. Getting started in just a few hours. Cannot wait to see you all there. As always, my name is Gorilla Metso. Jerry, thanks so much for having me tonight. I will see you at Claw. Thank you very much, Gorilla. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.